evening everyone in the name of Jesus my name is Tolumala I'm going to introduce mommy very soon and I'm sure you can hear us you can hear us I'm going to introduce mommy very soon today you know five days ago I did a video and in that video I was talking about the 1930 revival you know after the video a lot of people saw the video and I made a reference to one of the sons of the man Baba Ogundipe that was raised to life on the 10th of July 1930. You know, so I only mentioned one name. Then during the convention, they told me that ah, you need to see someone. I'm still hiding her name. You know, that you need to see her. She's also the daughter, the first daughter actually of the man that was raised to life on the 10th of July, a living testimony. And today I have with me, mommy is a pastor, Mrs. Evangelist. Evangelist, Evangelist Mrs. Janet Fashaki Ni Ogudipe. So I have Mrs. Ogudipe, Evangelist Mrs. Ogudipe. This is, you know, they become close. Why we are doing this? I do my barista. Okay, barista, she's a barista. So Evangelist, barista, Dr. Janet Fashaki Neo Gudipe, and um, it's a great privilege. This is the first of the interviews that I'm doing, and I'm trusting God that we'll be able to do so many things. You know, beloved of God, the dead body that was raised in 1930, I told you, I said, after 72 years, Baba passed on. But this is a fruit, this is a direct fruit. Oh, blessed are you, man. Thank you, sir. Blessed are you. One of the five. So this is mommy of good So uh, she's going to share with us her story. Just say quickly, you know, just to tell us about what you heard from your dad. What there was from something my grandmother. from your uh, yes. Over to you, ma. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. My name is uh, lawyer Doctor Janet Fashati. I am a practicing attorney in New York, USA. I'm a member of CAC. I'm an evangelist in CAC North America. Uh, I'm the, actually the second child mm. of my father, late uh, Pa, John Oluwabamiji Ogundipe, mm. uh, who died and by the grace of God was brought to life in July of 1930. Um, it was about 10 years at the time. I think my record says yes. 12, but I've seen people write 10 years. 10 years. And uh, by the grace of God, he lived to a good old age. Well, maybe not a good old age, but he lived to 72 years. Uh, he passed on in 2002, um, and that was That's January. 82 years. 82 years, because yes. he lived the first 12 years as a dead busy man. Yeah, okay. And His second life. His second life, he lived an additional 70 years to make 82 years. And uh, we glorify the name of God for his life. Um, <clears throat> A, a dead, the thing that always fascinates me about God uh, mm. is that he doesn't follow protocol. He does True. what he wants to do. To do. Because how do you explain a dead man? Mm. I suppose that all his uh, manhood, his palm, he used would have dead, the brain uh, would have died and everything. But he went on to become the first in his class. He always mm. came first. He always wow. came first. As if he never passed mm. at any time. But when you pass, even if you faint, Mm. The oxygen circulation to your brain, brain. will diminish, mm. uh, but none of that. So no cognitive deficit. No, nothing. There was no cognitive deficit. Baba Budipe died and was brought back to life, but he was brought back to life into fullness of life. Fullness of life. Wholeness of life. Mm. Yes, sir. He went on to have uh, two sons, two and, sons and three daughters. Two sons and three daughters, and this is one of the amazing, amazing daughters. Right. Yes, you met my the oldest of us. Is yes, uh, for that, you know, Stephen. Yes, that you met. Uh, but then, you know, as uh, also a brother, uh, mm. and okay. And uh, for the sisters, I'm the oldest of the sisters. Sisters. Uh, you know my name. My younger sister is a registered nurse here in New York. Okay. Uh, as the uh, Jamaica Hospital. Mm -hmm. Our youngest which is a woman. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, goes to she's an insurance executive. Mm -hmm. She attends church with uh, Pastor Anodu. Okay, Bayard of Mercy. Bayard of Mercy, and she's also a member of uh, Good Women. Yeah. Good Women. We are all yeah. members of Good Women, Good women. of uh, CAC. CAC. And uh, we thank God. Um, our the story, my own story is a yes. little different from CAC story because yes. they saw it from a different perspective. perspective. Yeah. I saw it, for, I had it from our own household. 
Yeah. How my father was sick with mm. the infection. He was sick with infection. And uh, mm. for whatever reason it may be that they would call Ogunidili. Mm. Ogunidili. And I would tell you why they would think it was Ogunidili. Mm. My grandfather um, had two daughters mm. and a son. Mm. So the two daughters he saw in his life. My grandmother was pregnant with my father, three months pregnancy. Wow. When my grandfather died. Wow. Hmm. So my grandfather never knew his son. Hmm. The son never knew the father. father. And he was the only son of my grandmother wow. in a polygamous Most family. family. Wow. And in a polygamous family, you know that uh, right you, only get, hmm. you only get a house or a room because of your male child. Male child. If you don't have a male child, then you have to be coupled with a senior wife. And they come oh. like a like the house girl, oh, okay. the senior wife. Mm -hmm. that's it. So my father mm -hmm. was the one that gave my grandmother mm -hmm. the benefit of having a place that she can call her own, where she could raise her children. Her children. And then for that same son, mm -hmm. who now suddenly passed mm -hmm. at the age of uh, ten or 10 twelve. Or 12. Yeah. At wow. the age of the, I have it as 12. 12. Okay. So we use 12. Yeah, I don't see it using 10. 10. It's okay, no problem. Yeah. Uh, all, all, all the uh, friends fight to yeah. So to now pass, it's like that's Like it. the hope of the family the is hope gone. Of the family uh, hmm. was completely gone because the other the senior ones were sisters. Hmm. Um, and then it was time to bury, and we don't really do ceremony when you want to bury quick. They already Please. dug, True. They already dug the burial ground. Um, this white hmm. linen just to wrap. to wrap the body. And it was in the process of that. And I want the children of God to take cognizance of it in our hmm. preaching the gospel. Yes, ma When you preach the gospel, you are not laboring in here. Hmm. Uh, it's your job to preach, it's God to say. To say. So don't even worry hmm. whether you've been preaching for one year or hmm. ten years and hmm. you don't seem to have a soul. You have a soul, you just don't know. You, you don't know what. Hmm. That's what to was. True. Uh, so when they wanted to bury my father, my mm. grandmother, who came from, she was an idol princess from her hometown. Grandma was idol, idol princess. Idol princess from her wow. hometown. Mm. Um, I think it's in Ekwendo. Then she came to marry in a place, in a town, in a, in a street that is predominantly idolatry. Idol. We have mm. three egugus that comes from our street. Wow. We have, in our street is where you have your bonus. You have your bonus. Uh, wow. They will say, uh, well, I'm more Jesu, then by band they will say you are more good. Mm. Wow. And in our household is where they will cut the, the uh, dog that they use for ceremony in town. town. That oh. we have the cotton in our, in our, in the in compound. our family. That when you cut the dog, it has to cut only once. Once. And cut it into two. Hmm. That was how much the power of darkness was. The happened. depth of was, occultism. Was really, yes, it was really deep. Hmm. And they died their best to bring my father to life, knowing that was yeah. important somebody could hmm. And so when he was about to be buried, my grandmother, a boutique woman, hmm. spoke up. I mean, we are in the generation of speaking up. That like, generation yes. started with my own grandmother. Mm. So that I'm a lawyer, I started with my grandmother. Grandmom. Okay, she started, she spoke up. She advocated. Oh yeah, she did. And hmm. she said that they should do that one time hmm. to take a son to some people that used to come to preach. They mm. call them the Kiriyos. The Kiriyos, yes. And why they call them the Kiriyos is people don't see them eating. Mm. Like they go from house to house oh. and they can go from morning till night. Oh. And they say this is what these people eat. It's just going around Down. eating because so they call them the Kiriyos. Oh. Like walk about. Oh, Kiriyo. Yes. Because at the, in church history, they said Kiriyo came from Kriyos. The no, it's a, the yeah. number one that they call Kiriyo is not Kriyo. It's not Kriyo. It's the Kiriyo Kiri, of Kiri, 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 so Latin, Latin. Yes. Yo. And that's their food. Yeah. Okay. That Kiri, you know, just preaching the gospel. So my grandmother said, mm. the Kiriyos mm. that used to come around, mm. let me take my son there. Yeah. Because they always boast. You know that, uh, that they boasted that there was nothing that God, God not could do. not do. Uh, that was what my grandmother held them to True. at that hour of sorrow. And she was not a Christian? No. Was she an was an idol. Um, uh, So this is profound. If an idol worshiper could hold on to the word of Christians, it's a challenge to Christians in this age. Yeah. We, we, have, we have no choice than to hold on to God's word, word and believe it. Yes, ma'am. And, and I will say, not that she was a believer, but because like a drowning person, mm. you hold on to, to whatever, anything that will give you safety. Right. They've tried everything. Mm. And that was our last hope. Like, you know what? These people used to come and they boast. 
mm. that there was nothing their God could, could not do. do. Let me take my son there, and he was in an adjoining street, okay, oh, yeah. okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, oh, yeah. uh, and our street in Igondo. Oh, like, I know Igondo. <laughs> our street just enter okay, oh, yeah. street, like that, like an angle. Oh, like okay. And okay. there was a river that connects them, like a the river that connects them, that they call it Omiayo. Omiayo. Yes. Mm. Uh, Omi Ayo, we have Omi Ayo. Omi Ayo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that was how my grandmother, my grandmother was a motive person. Mm -hmm. Who don't carry the cops? But that is uh, her husband had a farm worker in mm -hmm. Iraq that they called Abu. Abu. Abu was there to console. Because mm -hmm. my grandfather was there. Mm -hmm. So Abu was there to console my grandma. Mm -hmm. And he was the one that helped my grandma to carry my father. Not that they didn't have anybody that could carry, but they didn't believe. They didn't believe so anything could happen. What the leaders, the elders said, mm. was to tell the Omade, the Omade mm. Lewis, that the youth, the young people, mm. that when she, mm. so it, when, when, when she would come back, mm. that they should just throw the cops, so do something they do and just come back. Mm. So, so they left. So they said, go, let her go. Let her go. She'll we'll see back. what will become of She'll be back. So mm. that was what they thought. So nobody was going to help her except that Abu. And Abu carried to the wow. father. Can you imagine the place of Abu in the sea, history of CAC? Yes. So there are many names that we don't that even know. know. Imagine Abu today. Abu was an Ibira man. Ibira man. The farm worker. Mm -hmm. There's something mm -hmm. there that I will say later. <laughs> yes. So it was the Ibira man that helped my grandmother to carry my, my dad to mm. Okay. And you can see the crowd. Of course, mm. when you see something like that, you that. will be proving me. Yeah, they just to wanted to see what was going to happen. happen. So yeah. Yes, well, you can continue. So, on, on their way, actually, my father had a senior brother mm. who was an apostle, who later became an apostle at uh, uh, CNS, CNS Church. We call him uh, Apostle Baba Ugutipe. Mm. He was okay. my daddy's senior brother, much older than my brother, from another one. Mm. Who was much older. He was coming from the farm mm. when he saw the crowd. Wow. And then he was asking what was going on, and they said, uh, it was the local name for my father was Obi. Obi. Okay. That didn't form part of his name later. Oh. That it was Obi. Because Oluwa Bamiji that he was answering was, was given to him by Baba Apostle. Are and you Baba Lola? Hmm. Uh, so uh, they said Obi, Obi is dead. So Obi is dead, which Obi. Mm. And they were described my brother. He just threw everything yeah. down and mm. ran after them. So they all went to Okeoli. When they got to Okeoli, Mm. Okay, it was not CAC, it was the Apostolic Church. Yeah. When they got to, there was no CAC. It time. was even Faith Tabernacle. Church. Faith Tabernacle, okay. Uh, okay, okay. still there today. He's still there today, today and he's a, the Apostolic Church the Apostolic today. Church. Okay. Uh, so when they got there, mm. they met the leaders, the mm. pastors. Uh, and I think they were in a meeting. They were in a meeting. Foreign. Yes, or now whether we, and actually that meeting was about whether we should use exactly. drugs, medicine. medicine or not. Or when, whether and then, we should allow chieftaincy chief people, people in the church, and whether they should wear earrings or not. So those were the three things they were settling. Right, right. Yes. When they got there. So they did, it wasn't that they really had time for him, but they were concerned with the crowd outside. Outside. So they took the cup, uh, the cups, and they dropped it up. The God was very bad. But you can see that people will feel so anger yes. and so on to see what was going to happen. So they just put my dad under the table you know, where they were, they were just leave mm. and they told my grandmother to go into a room. Mm. I think after that sometime they took the cops mm. to another room where a young man mm. about the according to my grandmother, yes. about the age of twenty four years. Mm. Like a messenger to the rest. Okay. Like you call what do you call Chule. like the two less. Chule. Chule. So that was what my grandmother told me. There was a young man that was mm. in another room yes. who was not part of the decision that we were doing. Yeah. And that was where they put my father. Almost mm. like they say, watch over watch him. Over him. Mm. And my, father, my grandmother laid down on the bench somewhere in the church. Mm. And suddenly it was, a, I don't know what time of the night, but they said it was way down in the night. Okay. They just had a loud sneeze. Please. Wow. A loud, very loud sneeze with a big bogus open. Just came out. That came out. Mm. And when the other ones, what happened? What happened? They said they met a person who had a holy bottle that over the court and holding a water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cargo. Bell. Bell. That water was inside. That water was inside. Mm. And 
giving it to the cops, cops. Like to that, drink you know, to build the cops and the cops drink, drink. You know? hmm. i don't know whether the water got into his mouth no. and he choked Hmm. Okay, because I'm, I'm trying to analyze, analyze that from a medical person, I'm a registered nurse, mm -hmm. as a medical person, uh, that maybe it choke on mm. the water, I don't know, but it coughs, that will choke. It coughs cannot choke so, because there's no more life, the heart has stopped breathing, yeah, there's no pulse, like nothing, no blood flow to the brain, it nothing. Please. Ah, then they said, of course, this means very loud that there was a green bubble that came out of hmm. his nose and started breathing. breathing. Wow. Everybody was like, what happened? What happened? They saw the water, they saw the thing. And hmm. the elevator. That, and that was how the revival happened? That was how it started. Hmm. And people started, that OTG, oh, OTG, you know, OTG. The people that they didn't send there. I imagine the people that were waiting at home, that the Abu ones. will bring the, will bring the dead, dead back. cops back. Yeah. Hmm. Abu already left after he uh, hmm. to bring the cops. That was it. I wanted to sit down. Those who hmm. were outside. Was, ah, waiting. Oh, 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 but another story that I had from outside yes, was that the corpse was passing by. That and was, was your body that was the story I had. The corpse and said, "Bring the corpse Bring down." Bring the corpse down. And let me pray and for the pray. corpse. Today. That was the story I had okay. from Babaji. Okay. That was not our own, father, our own grandmother's yeah. story. story. That, because I lived with my grandma. Mm. That was not the story that she told me. Mm. And uh, I, I tend to believe that one more because than she's the high witness. More than I'm just passing by, right. it down, and that one really, really resonated in our family. Mm. So that was why all of us we have the Christ Apostolic Church. today. And the Christ Apostolic member part of it, like I said, it wasn't Christ Apostolic then. Then, but it was certain for mm. it. But remember, remember, my dear, my dad was 12 years old. Yes. Not, not mm. so small. Mm. What he what? wants to do after. After Baba also, he left on his own. Actually, our street was there. Most of us put CAC. Yes. Because wow. we were deliberating that why was that neglected? That was mm. before CAC. Yes. Not to Kisha. Not to Kisha. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not to Kisha. Mm. It was the CAC in the government. That Ingundo. was where I put to Baba and the others came to mm. find after the left of the road. Oh, yeah. And of course, my dad followed. Mm. Uh, my aunt, the oldest aunt, mm. uh, whose daughter later married the uh, Akila of the Nisha. Okay. And Akila of the Nisha was the patron um, of the mm. Nisha for a long time. long time. The wife was uh, like a patron to the women for mm. a long time. She died. Mm. Um, so that was how uh, CAC, the became CAC, yes, yes. but that was how CAC started, started and everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so thank you for sharing. You see, this is the first time I'm hearing this version of the story. And it's good. And then uh, for me as a as a scholar and as a researcher, we don't lean on one, one story alone. It's like the gospel. It's like the gospel. It's like the Mark and the Matthew. Matthew, Mark, Luke, synoptic gospel. Yes. But the truth of the matter is this, that on that day, because when you said overnight, it now, it may now make me to remember what Babai Ge told us that July 10 and 11. So that's overnight. He already died on the 10th. He already died on the 10th. They brought him. So it was, because he said it was overnight. Yes. So he said 10 and 11. It was so, correct. So, people of God, this mommy Fashaki, she's a barista, and, and she's a registered nurse, and she's an evangelist, she's a church planter. She's a mother. She's amazing. She's a living witness. And she's a grandmother. She's grandma. I just want you to imagine if... What's grandma's name? Um, Abigail. If Mama Abigail did not insist that let me go and meet the Kirios, that let me take... She wouldn't be here. Imagine if Abu the Igbira did not help to carry the dead body to the church where the leaders of the faith tabernacle were meeting we don't know what would have happened I mean, that would have been none of us. maybe <laughs> mommy will not be here today and she has been a blessing to so many lives i don't want to talk about that it's, she's been an amazing yeah, blessing I, I, to north america i don't want to talk i yeah. was i was the good women leader for cac north america for nine years Good women leader CAC North America for nine years. I just, I just say, uh, we just appointed another person mm. uh, last year. Last year, okay. This is Mustafa. Yes, yeah. Beloved of God, you see, every time I 
Interestingly, I met Baba Detula. Pastor Adetula was the one driving Joseph Ayo Baba Lola. So Pastor Adetula told me the version of the story. He said the, what Baba Baba Lola told me was what he told us. That Baba Baba Lola said he was outside. That he saw that we were. There may be another call. Yeah, there, there may be another call. Yeah, call. yeah then that Baba Lola told him that about that dead body. So you know when I met Mr. Ogudike. And he shared the story with me. I said, Are you sure it's your father? I said, Yes. He now showed me that video. And then he did a video before he died. But, beloved of God, I want to wrap up this interview because a graduation is going on inside at the CSC village here. But it's a privilege to have barrister Dr. Mrs. Janet Ogudikwe. So, this is a, she's a living witness of the fact that the power of God is alive. Yeah, mommy is a nurse. She tried to do, use the. I believe a dead body cannot be choked. Yeah, I didn't say so, <laughs> that water, right. yeah, yeah, that water that was put in the bell, that was put in his mouth, is still the same. Is the reference to Omi and the river? Yes. Even the select people, they are trying. They try to build their church, but uh, or your or also. Yeah. Or some, what do you call it? Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. They yeah. have made tourism, they have made it into tourist attraction place. Wow. So you still have that river. River. The river that, that, that is flowing. And of course, when when the revival broke out and they had the bound of water, everybody wanted Everybody was oh, so this, was it that that water there was the water by Baba Baba Lagi? It was the bottles. Bottles okay. also he it used the bell to take the water in that no, 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 River where they could fetch water. I'm not sure there was tap water, water. No, no, it was just flowing river. Omi Ayo. So, beloved of God, thank you, mommy, for sharing this version. I want to encourage everyone watching this. Share this link. This is mommy is a living witness. Yes, I am. She's a living witness that the power of God is alive. When they are singing, Babylon 1930. Let's say, this is living with living witness of 1930. You know one song I used to do? Oh no, Baba Lola. Ah, Thank you for accepting to do this interview. I want you to share. People should hear this story. I know there's noise in the background because of the service going on. But this is my first encounter with mommy. I'm still going to try and do a major documentary. Because that's my long-term vision. We're going to do a documentary. We will go to your house in Malaysia. I will see Mr. Ogudipe, your brother. We will go to all those places. We're going to take pictures. And I will come back to do a, a full interview with you. Where there will be no flights flying around. We will come to New York. We will go to New York in our house. And in our chamber to do a full interview regarding this. And we ask more questions. So, thank you. Can you say a word of prayer to people? Can you come close? Well, I, I mean, that... Um, a word of advice or encouragement? Well, the advice is to trust in the Lord. Trust in Believe the Lord. Believe in the Lord and know that He can do the unthinkable. Mm. If uh, the dead can be resurrected, just like that, the Lord will do your own just like that. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you are going through. Mm. Uh, as I'm a living witness of what God did in 1930, and he's still doing till today. Mm. I pray that your own miracle will come Amen. to you Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Every plug that the enemy is using to plug your life, mm. not to make it advance or not to make it to shine, mm. that Lord will unplug as you did for my dad Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will live, you will shine. You will be productive. My Amen. father went on to have five children. Five Two children. boys and three, three girls, girls. All alive, all doing well. Plenty of grandchildren. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, you will not be barren. Amen. None aspect, no aspect of your life will mm. be barren. Amen. And I pray for my brothers and sisters that will continue to shine to the glory of God. Amen. All our children will serve the Lord. Amen. And continue to uphold the power of the, of the Amen. Lord. Amen.
and also for CAC and yes. the Apostolic, yes, where Lord. the miracle come, uh, came from, yes. the Lord will continue to uphold you. Amen. Amen. Do not dry, Amen. do not fade down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank uh, my doctor, <laughs> Pastor Doctor yeah. uh, Mala. May the Lord bless you. Amen. And my son, Amen. Lord bless you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, ma'am. Amen. 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 Yeah, Mommy, before you go, I want to read the passage of the Bible. Now, because when you were speaking, a scripture came to my heart. I don't want you to lose hope. Imagine Mama Abigail lost hope that yeah, day. Yeah. Baba Ogudipa will not be alive. No. Maybe God would have used another avenue, but that 1930 revival maybe might have not happened. Mommy today and the five children that Baba Ogudipa eventually had, and the blessing you have been to CAC North America and CAC globally actually, Hallelujah. she would have been mm -hmm. beloved of God in Job chapter 14, verse 14. It says, If a man dies, shall he live again all the days of my art service will wait till my change comes you know you know he said i will wait till my change come but that is this is where it is actually verse 7 says for there is hope for a tree i want to say to someone watching there is hope for you i don't know what the enemy took from you the bible says the thief in john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that you may have life and have it abundantly. So there is hope for you. So if it is cut down, it will sprout again. I want to stop there and say you will sprout again. Your joy will come again. If you are buried, you are watching us, you will conceive again. You've had miscarriages before, you will conceive again. You are weak and you're tired. Maybe you had a vision and you almost gave up. Thank God. I'm going to talk more about Mama Abigail another day. Yeah. Thank God for her that she did not give up. Mm. We need women like that. She's resolute. She's very determined. Resolute. She's a determined woman. Very She's very a committed okay. woman. She's a Sorosoke generation yes. woman in yes. 1930. She actually Mama Abigail is the is the is the we call it progenitor, the matriarch yes. of Sorosoke. Yes. Because if she did not speak because out, women didn't have any voice. Like women that. had no voice, so she spoke as a woman defended that let's take this dead boy to don't the, throw don't throw him away into the pit let's take him to the kirio the christians who are just going about preaching and she and god bless her so i know she's gone but imagine Mama, so there are some people and i'm saying this for everyone there are people we did not know played a major part the in the 1930s the, 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 the kirios nobody knows them who are going around abu the man yeah, nobody yeah, knows yeah, yeah. Mama Abigail, we know now. Yes. But you know, people, when we talk about 1930, all the people using 1930 picture and everything, they didn't know that there were people that God, real people, real people that orchestrated the resurrection, and the I, raising I, back I to life. Yes, if it was not so, okay. if it was not so, hmm. uh, with my education, I mean, I, I'm a PhD holder, hmm. with my education and research and everything, I would not have supported it. Hmm. Because I would say, well, I don't know what they're talking okay. about, hmm. but I know it is real. Hmm. I know the miracle did happen. Apple. I know that Lord did the great work. Hmm. I know it changed the, uh, my grandmother's life tremendously hmm. and it changed the life of people in our area, that's that's street. that street. That street, because I remember when I said I live with my grandmother. Mm. And when they when they are doing the Google festival, mm. that we have some ferocious Google. We have ones that are make that they call it Yeri mm. or Gedeni Pado. Mm. Agondo, very ferocious. It's Yeri or Gedeni Pado. Pado Agondo. Agondo. When they are coming like that, our house when they get there, they will stop their drum. Mm. They will pass. Can you imagine? And then they will continue. Continue. You will not think that a woman will have that kind of power mm. in a in a, in a, um, in a patriarchal in a patriarchal society, society. male dominated we society. Are to today, how much voice does a woman have in CSC? Mm. True. To be able to command something. And ma, what you are saying is important because the vision that led to the birth of CSC and everything. It was, was by Sophia Odulami. Yeah, she was the one. Yeah. It's, a, uh, it's another story for another day. Mama, Madam Sophia Odulami was the one that saw the revelation and gave the prophetic word that led to the coming of the faith tabernacle together 1918. The Jebode group, the Lagos group, and then the Ibado group, the Odubanjo group, the SSCAD group in Jebode and all of them, and then the Ibado, the Isaac Babalola and the group. So, and you Mama know, I spoke heard about, yes, that, that, that about that Sophia and the fact that they should give women the chance mm. from the president that passed 
two presidents away. Yeah. Not this Baba president, not Baba that they were Ulushe. Baba Ulushe. Yes. There was a meeting that went on in uh, Baltimore, Baltimore one time when Baba Uwege was our overall, like Chairman. Baba Uwege was hmm. overall. There was a meeting there and I went accompanying Baba Uwege as the lawyer, I'm the head lawyer for CSU North America. Well, and because they said they were bringing their own lawyer from England, mm. and we didn't know why. Mm. So Baba asked me to follow. So I followed, and as, uh, as they were starting their meeting, I was the only woman I sat outside. Even wow. the people I followed didn't ask me to come in. Wow. Baba Ulusheye asked me, are you for this meeting? And I said, yes. He said, come, come in. inside. Mm. And he made sure that I, I was inside. Then when he quoted the Bible passage, three Bible passages, and three pastors stood up, he said one of them should sit down. There's a woman here that also should stand up and read. Mm. And he said, we may have a role in Christ the apostolic church coming into to life. life. And mm. that they should not push them. They shouldn't aside. marginalize women. Baba said mm. that. Mm. And I think that was about my second encounter with him. So hmm. that was when, when he died, hmm. I wrote hmm. um, that tribute. I wrote a tribute that people saw in Nigeria. I didn't go, hmm. uh, but we read it when we were doing his burial here in, hmm. uh, in, uh, in uh, Baba Begas Church. Church. It was where we did it. It was one of his sons, hmm. his son that was in uh, Dallas. Dallas. Uh, approached yeah. me and said, I want you to write something right, about my dad. Hmm. And I wrote it. Uh, people were calling me to say that was that was brilliant, that was That's beautiful. Good. Amen. Uh, because that that was the truth. the truth. I know what happened happened with the whole this year, whatever mm -hmm. some people yeah. That was the honest. That's truth. your own experience. That, like is, I said, even true. with my father's death, people have different stories. Different stories. Uh -huh. With Baba we see things again, different. That was my own story, story. for him. Amen. That it did not allow me to be pressed down. Pressed down. down. He gave you a voice. He gave me a voice he and he asked me to come in. Mm. And to say a woman had a role in to the coming to power of Christ according to the church. Amen. And that was Amen. important. And I Amen. want to say that to our daddies too. Mm. Give us a voice. Give women a voice. Give in us CSC. a voice. Actually, we sh there's a sister in Jabu. I think she wrote a PhD about women in CAC. And I want to say this. Women have played a significant, significant role. Mama role. Abigail. Mama Sophia Odolami. Sophia. Even if we don't know other women, or Baki and Leah the wife, Baba Baba Lala the wife, there's Mama Udubanjo. And this Janet Fashaki too. And this Janet Fashaki too. <laughs> and interestingly, mommy has a PhD. Yeah, PhD in nothing. I, no, no, no. I have a PhD in public administration. PhD in public administration. She's a lawyer. She's a nurse. So I, 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 I'm a member of the public administration of the United States, United of, America. States of America. And I'm also uh, an admitted attorney of a... Uh, the court, the United States of, uh, of America, Supreme Court. Supreme Court. The highest court in wow. America. She's an so admitted Victoria. attorney of the United States Supreme, Supreme Court. Court. We are blessed in CAC. Yeah. Let me say CAC, the body of Christ, the African community here is blessed yeah. to have her. Imagine all that God has done for you, man. Yeah. All traced to 1930. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beloved, I want to read to you again for there is hope. There is hope for you. Yeah. If you are listening, you are watching. I want you to take note. You can type it and decree there is hope for me. You, I don't know what has been cut down in your life. It will come back again. Come back Thank life. you for listening. We thought this was going to be 10 minutes, but it's been way beyond 10 minutes now. Because things like this, thank you. I'm hearing this story from you, from a direct protege. Oh, Mr. Ogdeva did not tell us so much. He just said, go and watch the video. My brother is we not are... a man of many words. Yes, he's, you see now. He didn't tell us so. He just showed me the video and said, it was my daddy. Read the story. And, you know... But we thank God for you, man. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you, man. But then I come to do the documentary, hopefully next year. You know, I mean, we'll come to New York right. and do a documentary. By then, we'll have done all that we need to record in Nigeria okay. by God's grace, and then we we'll come back. So for everyone watching, I want you to share this video. This is a direct witness story from the first time. You know, in, in Bible theology, we talk about witnesses. There are people who work closely with Jesus who wrote John, Matthew, Mark, Luke. They so all wrote their own they all wrote their own account. So this is a direct uh, account uh, from the woman. Say, yes. My daddy died. The name that they gave him in the family was Okualea. Okualea, no Mama Bola used to sing that. Omila Fishe Wosa, Okualia, no Dalaye, Omila Fishe Wosa. That was my father's nickname in the family. Okualiano, Okualiano. Until he died. 
until he died. Because we are Omo Ukuale. Omo Oh, God bless you. Thank you, Ma, for giving this time to do this interview. For everyone watching, God bless you. Try and share this video. I'm going to share with mommy. I'm going to try and also upload this video on my YouTube. We're going to download this. We're going to upload it to the YouTube so that people can have access. And let me tell you what we are doing. Like I said, yeah, when I did the first one five days ago, we're not doing for anything, not for prize or reward. People must know history. History must not go. History must talk. not go down. Yeah, you know, it, 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 I, I was. I've been wanting to write like, a book about it. Oh I've my! I think it's time to consolidate and do so. something. So God bless you all for watching. Thank you, thank you mommy. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, David. Thank this you, is David. our. He is he's our camera thank guy. David is a wonderful camera man. <laughs> God I'm bless you, David. Tell the camera. Yeah. David was going to prostrate for me. That was uh, surprising. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Okwale another lie. Omi la fiche waso. Baba lola olo mi yele o. Omi ye. I time to sing that song of uh, on our 1930. We are about to go back 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 to go to go to 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 Olorun baba jide emi mama rowo ise re ah olorun 1930 lesekese le yin se yanu ah awa taye mi 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 tolorun o je owo oye jo fu baba olorun 1930 adarun ada olorun adura re emi pa ni ase olorun 1930 to dara to sele yo ya o lenu and it told woman, told Bummy, or Johnny, it's here. Along with Joseph, I your Baba, along with Kualiana, told the ally, you buy a record, or no man la Fondor for Jesu. The God that raised that dead body in July 1930 will visit you. We give you life again. We'll surprise you. Remember Job chapter 40, verse 7 says, For there is hope for a tree. If it be caught, let me tell you, you are only caught, but you are not dead. This was then at the scent of water. That's why the, oh, water no yes. scent of water. Oh me ye. Mm -hmm. At the scent of water, life came again. Life is coming life. again for you in the name of Jesus. God bless you oh, and right. thank you for listening and watching. Bye. Bye. Don't worry, the documentary is coming by next year to be fully ready and packaged by the grace of God. God bless you. Thank you. And we bye. are the grand of Christ Apostolic Church. And this is this is CAC village. village. Show it around. Prayers. City of prayer, CAC village. Of land. CAC, how many land. acres of land? Three acres of land. Sixty-three yes, acres, acres of land. Of land. CAC right. village. The of God that the Lord gave us in CAC wow. of America. Wow. Under Baba Benja Pastor. Under Pastor Benja. All this, all this. That started from the time of uh, Baba. Where? Uh, Baba Pastor Doctor Joshua. Where? Where? Yeah. Right. This is sixty-three acres of land in the earth in of in America Pennsylvania, yes. in Pennsylvania. Yes. This village is 63 acres for CAC. Amazing, amazing, amazing. amazing. So share this video. So come, watch come it come on your vacation. We have 12 bedroom <laughs> hotel here. There's a 12 bedroom hotel. Come close yeah, so that I'm yeah, not going to. We do... have refrigerator. We have a video. We have refrigerator and a, a microwave in every room. In every room. It's uh, amazing. And you have the chapel where you can pray. pray. Where you can call upon God and you want to do your retreat prayers. vacation in yes, the US come, we'll come to CSC yes, village wonderful place amazing wonderful place. place we come every year all the CAC in North America that has uh, 20 DCCs now and zones we all come at once mm. every week uh, every the second week in July in July to do annual conference. and I love it that it's the second week that's a week of the remember okay, I, yeah. I've told the I've, I'm trying to push the authorities of CAC so that when we are doing this, we do something, an historical yes, moment yes. to return. What led to this that we are doing today was because I was retelling that story on Monday. And people added and said, ah, 
How can you mention Mr. Abudekwe? You didn't mention Mommy's Fashaki. And I said, I don't know her. So you see, because history needs to be known. Yes, yes, People yes. need to know what happened, particularly the upcoming generation. Mommy, God will spare your life Amen. to see many, many more years. Amen. Because this, this message must go out to the world. Amen. The Lord bless you, Thank man. You, Thank you. Bye God now. bless you. Bye, everyone. Bye. You can show me back.